Howdy. How are you doing? So in this video, I just felt inclined to uh, release the messages from your spirit guides. I always talk about your spirit guides, ancestors, and all that in my normal general and love readings. And I figured why not just start doing some spirit guide messages as well for the zodiac sign. So, hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your urgent spirit guide messages. Now, Aquarius, I also do your weekly for both your general as well as your you versus them between you and your person, which I'll leave links to both of them over here, Aquarius, for you to check out at a later point if you would like. But when it comes to any of my readings, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, Aquarius, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. And if you find some cards that resonate with you, Aquarius, be sure to let me know in the comments below which ones do and how they do because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments. And then as well, Aquarius, I would like to ask for you, if you do find some cards that resonate with you, to be sure to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel a lot, Aquarius, and I am super appreciative when you guys take the time to do that for me. And then finally, Aquarius, this reading here, I'm losing my voice apparently, this reading here is just to give you some perspective, something for you to consider as you go throughout your week, but ultimately the final decision is yours to make. I'm not here to tell you what to do with your life, I'm not here to speak for you, I'm not here to um, tell you what the right or wrong decision is to make in your life because it's ultimately your life to live. You know your life more than I would, right? So with all that in mind, let's get into your reading now, Aquarius, with the overall energies. I do, actually, that's the card that I was missing. There was, I knew there was a card that just was feeling a little bit too empty, Aquarius, and it's because I forgot to um, pull a animal oracle, animal oracle card for you, Aquarius. So let's get that now for you. All right, the animal oracle card that I pulled for you is the number, the electric eel spear. I've actually never seen this card. Uh, number 24 equaling to six. So the electric eel spirit, write that down for numerology, by the way, Aquarius, number six. Um, but the electric eel spirit says, bring your ideas to life. Now, definitely this lets, this lets me know, Aquarius, a sense of where you probably have been in this place of where you probably a lot of ideas that's been going on in your, in your head, but not a lot of execution, not a lot of taking action on it. You have a, but, and here's the thing, when you have like that bringing your ideas to life, that's kind of like an affirmation when you think about it, Aquarius, that the ideas that you're having, the thoughts that you're having, like there's this push for, from spirit to acknowledge it and to lean into it a little bit more. So you can kind of take um, relief in the fact, Aquarius, that like, the thoughts that you're having, the ideas that you're having, they're not silly. If you're feeling like they're silly, just because it's like spirits telling you to lean into it more, right? Naturally, they wouldn't tell you to lean into it more. If you weren't, if they weren't, there's not, if there was nothing there, they wouldn't tell you to like lean into it more, right? Summarizing that. So let's get into the terror side of things um, with this card. We have the Ace of Swords continue, continuing on with this uh, idea of where uh, I mean, I feel like the these two cards kind of are the similar in that way because the Ace of Swords is the card of like creative new ideas coming forth. So just another amplifier, just letting me know really queers to uh, for you to start really honoring, start considering the thoughts that you're having, start really considering the ideas that you're having, and just start taking action on it. Start taking some fo like start focusing on it more, and focus on um accomplishing that breakthrough essentially right because it's like you can have all these wonderful ideas but you kind of have to find some type of way some type of pentacle energy right to uh bring it into the physical to really start actively manifesting it it does no good to have all these wonderful ideas aquarius if you're not actually um doing anything with those ideas so that does seem to be the push of like actually doing something with it so let's get into the tarot side a little bit further we have the king of pentacles this is what i was saying with that pentacle energy trying to bring it in a little bit more king of pentacles it's like with all these great uh great creative ideas aquarius there does again need to be this sense of 
um, practicality. There does need to be this sense of developing a game plan, Aquarius. Um, really, Spirit's really trying to hone in on you, Aquarius, of being like, hey, like, we can help give you these wonderful ideas, we can do as much as we can, but you have to be the one uh, responsible for creating this, right? You have to be the one to, like, like just thinking again, like, I know I'm probably being repetitive and I hopefully I don't step on your toes too much Aquarius, but again, it's that sense of where it's like you can have all these brilliant ideas, but it serves you no purpose. It serves no one any purpose or benefit, even yourself, if you don't do something with it, if you don't create something with it. In fact, it's really kind of doing a disservice to yourself by not um doing something with these ideas so what's going on here right why do you not want to actively create um y'all like how i'm so comfortable with you guys i'm just like digging right in my eye as i'm just like speaking to y'all as if like you're just like my friend in my room and i'm just chastising you about your life as i'm like rubbing my eye giving myself premature wrinkles <laughs> but yeah aquarius continuing on with that notion of just creation and manifestation we have the magician card where Truly, Aquarius, this is such a time of where it's like your thoughts right now, your ideas right now, there's really something there. There's really something that you could create with this, but you're not. <laughs> Truly, you're not. With this magician, this is your potential. This the magician acknowledges um, that the the reality is like there's to, like their existence their reality is theirs to really take hold of and to really create the magician is the master of all suits um so really powerful cards to have that with that magician card with that ace of swords it really just amplifies such a like you're such a creative force right now you're just in this place of really being able to bring such beautiful things to life right but this is where the, your, that blockage comes in uh aquarius this is that three of swords this is where i'm just like okay this is why you're not taking action on it right some type of pain now <laughs> now if it's if it's some type of current pain i do not know we can try to get some clarifiers on this let's actually do that let's see what's going on with this three of swords aquarius like why is this here honey and if it's talking about some type of insecurity in yourself or I swear to gosh aquarius if this is just like you not wanting to take action and create stuff in the now because you're just referencing some past failures or something don't get me started honey i'm gonna be so annoyed with you if that's the case and it does seem to be the case honey so aquarius I'm squinting at you. So we have the Five of Cups coming in as one of the clarifiers. This is that situation where you can't let something go. Something happened that you can't really overcome. And when it's attached to that Three of Swords, it is kind of like being attached to some type of pain that, I mean, honestly, you don't want to experience it, right? But it did take a heavy, get, give us such a heavy blow, right? I mean, the imagery of the Necronomicon, it kind of gives like the sense of like a part, like you walking in on a part, like, bunch of mess right i mean i guess now that we're looking at both these cards i guess are graphic in their own way but there does seem to be like something that you haven't been able to just like truly heal from and truly let go of and it makes sense because you have this ten of discs here where it did like whatever happened in that three of swords moment right that really affected your stability it really affected like your home life it affected it was probably just really deep rooted because it's like ten of disc it refers to like that creation right so maybe there is this doubt of being able to get to this place of it's like well of course you yourself might be able to acknowledge being like yeah i might have such great ideas but none of those ideas would actually go anywhere none of those ideas would actually elevate you anywhere um because maybe perhaps like especially with this ace of cups and this ten of disc honey it does feel like maybe perhaps like you took a risk before and it didn't really quite pan out that you as you were hoping and you haven't been able to really let go of that it's really like bruised your ego perhaps aquarius there does just seem to be this sense of something that's happened in your past that kind of is associated but not maybe in directly that like causes you to just like freeze up and not be this magician where it's just like you have you acknowledge you have the potential but then you just like in the moment you just start freezing up when you actually have to start 
leaning into it, start going into that creation. Really interesting. So Aquarius, we really dove deep with that, honey, unintentionally. Um, do we feel like, is there anything else that we need to, let's just pull a few more cards actually. Um, see if there's anything else that Aquarius needs to look in as the cards fly out. See if there's anything else that Aquarius needs to look into or be aware of. Lovers is the back of the deck energy. Let's see these cards that came out. Four cards came out. <sighs> Let's see, Aquarius. I feel like I called you Gemini at some point in this reading. If I did, I apologize, Aquarius. <laughs> Just forgive me, right? I do so many videos and I say y'all's name, Zodiac sign so much in each one. So the cards that we have for you, the Empress card coming in, the Knight of Swords coming in for you as well, Gemini, with the Wheel of Fortune as well as the Eight of Swords, uh, Eight of Wands. So Aquarius, such a time for you to really be challenging you, your headspace, challenging your um, just perception of things, right? This Knight of Swords being the focal point of this energy, it's that wish, I say it's like that wishy-washy card. It's that card when it comes up, I'm just like, okay, like Gemini is really, See, this is what happens. I probably didn't even call you Gemini from before Aquarius, but now that I said it once, that's in my brain. Aquarius, you might be in this place, Aquarius, where it's just, um, you're acknowledging that you have potential, but then it's like, again, in that moment, like when it's time for you to grab up at it, there's this pause, there's this freeze in action, and that's where it is that you need to grow from. As it is, that's what it is that you need to work on, Aquarius, because and just start seeing things, especially, here's the thing, for my Aquarius is that have been like, hesitant on grabbing up at opportunities now because of maybe past failures, right? We'll just call it failures. If you see it as a failure, you see it as a failure, right? Me saying, me putting quotation marks as a failure is not going to make it feel any better for you, right? But if you see something as that failure and that's what's stopping you, here's the thing. Like there's just this almost, I just feel like with this Empress card and with this Wheel of Fortune, that's like the test for you, Aquarius, where it's just like, are you going to continue to fall victim to the Wheel of, the, just because the Wheel of Fortune didn't turn in your favor once, are you just now going to permanently have like this victimized mindset when it comes to the Wheel of Fortune, the cynical view of the Wheel of Fortune where you feel like it's just never going to turn in your favor? Or are you going to allow each time the Wheel of Fortune doesn't bless you and turn in your direction, you just become the Empress where you start pushing yourself even more, where you grow from it and try to get to the point again of where the wheel, um, where you can turn the wheel and hopefully it turns in your favor, right? I feel like there's this thing of where it's like this frustration with you, Aquarius, almost to where it's just because something didn't just pan out perfectly the last time or just pan out in the way that you would like that just is really just put such a some it's instilled such a stage fright in you almost which is just it's interesting to me it's really interesting because it's just such an interesting dynamic in a sense where it's like i really do feel like you acknowledge your potential aquarius like there's not this like it's like this weird relationship with yourself where it's just like you're insecure but you're not <laughs> sort of thing so, Aquarius, we I pulled already some cards for you for the blessings to come, even though I didn't let you know ahead of time. And the cards that I pulled for you were the Ace of Coins, positive card, uh, Two of Coins, as well as Knight of Coins. So you're really bringing things into... That's that's the thing, though. You have all these great ideas. You know, I was saying before, Aquarius, but you just needed some pentacle energy to ground it, to bring it into the earthly realm. And this is what happens. This is what happens when you start doing that. I really do feel like you overcome this eventually. This does let me know you do overcome this, like, not wanting to grab up at your Eight of Wands, right? The Knight of Coins and the Ace of Coins comes in as you do go into those new that this new territory, right? You do challenge yourself. You do get out of your comfort zone, right? So it does let me know that you don't let that past situation hold you back for too long. And once you stop that, then I really do feel like you're going to have like a beautiful payout um, this time around if you do choose to take that risk, right? Whatever that risk is for you. Um, Two of Pentacles does come in as well, where it's like a decision needs to be made. I feel like um, it's one of those things I can't help but feel like you can't have like, 
I mean, just being transparent, uh, Aquarius, I do hear that you can't expect to have your cake and eat it as well. So take that as whatever that will you will with that. Maybe you're wanting to have, like make too many things work out um, at once for you, and maybe you need to just take a more like calm, like sensible approach to things. Uh, the two cards that came out for you, two major arcana the priestess card and as well as the empress card so this is definitely um <laughs> again it talks about like um with the high priestess card getting such um beautiful or we'll just call it like impressions or just ideas that come into head into your mind and the empress card really just comes in with that abundant energy of really just being in tune with yourself really listening to your intuition really listening to um the universe and just going with the flow of things rather than resisting you make your decisions based off of what's going on in your life around you finally rather than making decisions based off of what's happened to you in your past beautiful energy for that aquarius so let's get some final clarification in regards to this mm -mm. We have the High Priestess card coming in again, the Ace of Cups, as well as the Knight of Pentacles coming in again. So truly, 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 Aquarius, if you're, if you've been having in your head recently of where it's just like, uh, do I want to like take a risk? Do you want to like, this is definitely a card of traveling. I am going to be honest, Aquarius, for my Aquariuses that have considered traveling, moving even, um, but overall just like take i keep referring to it as taking that risk but it's only a risk because it's like it's just leaving your comfort zone essentially and that can feel risky right but it's all in the name of the ace of cups moment of where you feel extremely fulfilled where things just yeah like your cup fills over your art heart opens up um with the two of pentacles i do see this as like um it's going to be chaotic for a while. It's going to be a lot just naturally because you're getting out of your comfort zone. But so don't feel like it's going to be a smooth ride. I'm not going to sit here again, Aquarius, and tell you that you're going to have your cake and eat it too. And it's just going to be such a perfectly like float. No, that's just not life, honey. Okay. Like you don't come to my readings to just be told that. But I do see this like it's going to be worth it through this bumpy ride things it's going to feel extremely worth it and it's not <laughs> it's not going to be easy honey um it's definitely going to be something that you have to like overcome like i feel like the biggest ob obstacle for you aquarius is just overcoming that past through a sword's pain of really getting rid of that stage fright but once you overcome that stage fright once you go through that paper tiger and realize it's just not that bad um and that you're not always going to fall flat on your face, right? Like, everyone fails, right? It's inevitable. If you spend your life trying to avoid failure, you just spend your life doing nothing with your life, right? And I feel like you kind of realize that, and that's when you finally start grabbing up at the Eight of Wands. And that's when the Wheel of Fortune starts turning in your favor, and you start really growing, right? The Empress card following you. So many cards following you in your reading and on the tarot, uh, Aquarius, which is just so beautiful, especially when a lot of them are major arcana. So, yeah, that's the cards that I have for you, Aquarius. Definitely let me know how this turns out for you. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And then share my videos with a friend that you think might be into my messages. Until next time, Aquarius, I love you so much. Bye.